It's no secret winters in Minnesota can be tough. Tough on the residents, tough on the machines that dig the city out after a snowfall, and tough on the grass and mailboxes hidden by all the snow. Especially when the wind blows, it makes the road, you can't see the curbs or the center line. So you try your best to get down the middle of the road. And as crews try their best, curb lines, mailboxes, and boulevards hidden by snow can sometimes be damaged during the snow removal process. If you break something, you're responsible for it. So if we're up on the grass or if we break in mailboxes, we're going to come out and fix it. Considering the challenge of plowing out Bloomington's more than 2,000 lane miles of roadway, the amount of damage to mailboxes or lawns is remarkably small each year. In fact, it's less than 1% of all single-family properties. But nonetheless, public works crews are out every spring making sure any damage caused by the plow season before is corrected. And that's exactly what public works crews are spending time doing each spring. Sod repairs consist of removing leftover debris, replacing topsoil to level the area, applying grass seed and raking that seed into place. It usually takes about two to three weeks for results to be seen. A separate set of city crews spend time repairing any mailboxes that were damaged by snow removal operations over the winter. Because it's cracked right here, and most of the time our wings like if they're not set up properly, they hit right here and it cracks the post. So that's why we got to replace this one. After removing the mailbox, newspaper boxes, and the address numbers, the post is extracted. The city provides the home with an eight foot solid cedar replacement post, which is measured, cut accordingly, and buried. Of the 55 mailboxes repaired in 2013, half of those were damaged by plows, a number quite small in relation to the thousands of mailboxes in Bloomington.